Thank you very much. I'm speaking on behalf of three organizations. Madam Chair, we'd like to commend Mr. Lumina for his interesting report on the negative impact on the enjoyment of the human rights of the non-repatriation of uh, funds of illicit origin. This makes it possible to understand the situation uh, the deadlock that many countries in the South are, uh, the so-called LDCs. Their economy was literally seriously perturbed by the structural adjustment programs over decades, which led uh, to their various uh, margins for maneuver reduced uh, enormously. and massive human rights violations as well. In addition, a large part of the money uh, goes back to, uh, the, to, to outside the country illicitly. The process is complex. It's difficult to assess accurately, and uh, there are numerous factors entering into it. The independent expert, however, stresses the fact that this situation is not something that we have to deal with forever. Responding to the intrinsic needs of the acceleration of the neoliberal globalization, states have tolerated, even supported, the setting up of extremely complicated mechanisms that allow, among others, for fraud and tax evasion, making it practically impossible uh, to repatriate uh, illicit assets. In addition, the difference between the limits and the blo blockades uh, and uh, creates a huge gap. <clears throat> we encourage the independent expert to continue his research in this field, in this area, and in particular to shed more light on the strategies implemented by transnational corporations which are attempting not to pay taxes or only to pay a very small percentage of uh, taxes on profits, for example. We would also recommend to the independent expert to look into international financial taxation. Uh, and on this score, the proposal that was made by the organization known as ATTAC is a part, uh, about 10 years ago, as a part of the general dialogue. This is the Tobin tax, which involves taxing um, monetary transactions, fiscal trans uh, monetary transactions. This is the core of the uh, neoliberal uh, approach and it can be a very powerful tool to uh, mitigate speculation on the stock markets. Uh, I could recall that under the UN Charter and under international law in the area of human rights, states must cooperate amongst themselves and adopt uh, suitable appropriate measures in order to prevent any human rights violations which are caused by their own activities and which are the result of um, physical legal entities uh, both on their territories and outside. Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention.